What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Patrick. You know, I do vlogs and food reviews and, and mukbangs and challenges and all kinds of stuff, right? Well, today I'm gonna do a food review. I'm gonna drop some pictures and I'm gonna drop some knowledge. I don't have any food here with me. We've already eaten it or what we could have eaten of it. We ate what we could, you know? And um, so I was at work. You know, me and my buddy Oscar, we worked together and it was time to take a lunch. We're like, man, we just got paid. What do you feel like eating? Cause you know, we've been eating real light. Cause you know, your boys be broke and we've been eating like crap. So we're like, hey, what are we gonna eat? Let's get a good burger. You know, we wanna eat a good burger. And so we asked some coworkers, hey, can we, get, where can we get a good burger at that is not Whataburger, that is not Five Guys, that is not a fast food place. Let's get a burger that we can sit down and enjoy. And so we get a couple different opinions or, or recommendations that we've already tried before. So then somebody says, go down the street to this place called the Rusty Beagle. So bam, we hit the road. We're on the way, we're going to the Rusty Beagle. Never been to this place. It kind of sounds like a bar to me. And when we get there, it's exactly that. And I'm gonna try to post pictures here. I'm not sure where they're gonna be, but we're gonna post. So we get to the Rusty Beagle. There's, you know, four or five tables in there and we sit down. Immediately a, a waitress runs over and she's like, hey guys, what can I get you to drink? I want a water, he wants a Coke. It's like 1140. Then she says, all right, well, what can I get you for appetizers? And I'm like, ma'am, I have no idea. <laughs> like, can I get a menu? And she's like, oh, you have to download the menu it's over there you know and I was like, oh, okay but I didn't know that because I've never been to the Rusty Beagle she's never asked me if I've been to the Rusty Beagle I have no idea what's going on in this restaurant she kind of just like takes off she doesn't say I'll be right back with your drinks or anything she just kind of walks away we're going over the menu and everything and and you know my boy's like bro let's get some appetizers he's like I'm gonna get some stuffed jalapeno and I was like all right cool I'm gonna get some loaded fry and he's like all right bet she comes back she gives us the water he gets coke she asks us what we'd like and we had already run through the menu as well so boom we order the appetizers and we order our burgers and it's just like I think it's called like the, the beagle or something like that it's just a regular old burger never frozen angus beef we're like all right cool my bad guys my battery died so you know i tasted the water and i was like oh this water's not really good cool whatever i don't even know the waitress's name you know the next person that we see is like we didn't even see her i was here on my phone you know looking at my youtube analytics trying to be the greatest youtuber of all time and then wham somebody slams down this plate of cheese fries in front of me and then she slams down another plate and before i could even look at the cheese fries my boy's like what's this he has like a basket of like sliced fried jalapenos and he's like bro i ordered stuffed jalapenos and I was like, yeah, you did. And then I looked down at these cheese fries, which should be on screen somewhere now. And they're like, it's a big portion. And there's a lot of cheese. But like the fries are like dark. And the cheese is like dark. It's like they burnt the cheese fry. We kind of started digging into the cheese fries. And the cheese under are like barely even warm and soggy. So like now I got burnt cheese, soggy, lukewarm fry. And he has fried sliced jalapenos and not stuffed jalapeno all right cool the same person who slammed down my plate or plates and almost hit me in the damn head she's running by I was like hey do you mind if i get a coke because i can't drink this water it just got that weird taste to it you know either you're a water drinker you know that not all water is the same she brings me a coke or whatever all of a sudden the waitress shows back up and he's like hey ma'am uh i ordered stuffed jalapenos not sliced fried jalapenos or whatever and she goes oh we don't have any stuffed jalapenos and she walks away then like the bartender comes around the bartender was on it she was hustling she was moving. She's talking to a lot of people. She's the one that kind of checked on us periodically. But I mean, it really wasn't her job to do so. But you know, when you work for a company, you you represent them. She had came by. She was like, hey, let me get these out of your way. And so she took those away. I had got ranch for my cheese fries. I got ranch for my cheese fries and they brought me sour cream. There was ranch with his sliced jalapeno. So I just kind of like took that. And so we're kind of muddling through these loaded cheese fries. And we're just like, man, this freaking sucks. The apps came out in a pretty timely manner but it's like man these are like not hot and you know they're kind of burnt and they taste kind of burnt so maybe they needed to change the fryer oil whatever and you know they're not particularly busy there's like two sides of this place and you know you probably see that here too there's a there's a couple tables in there four or five tables a couple guys at the bar but i mean they had two or three waitresses i don't know what was going on in their 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 kitchen but i mean the lady was running out with food and stuff it just didn't seem like it was just a whole lot of urgency to be busy and mind you i worked in restaurants for 10 years so it's not like i'm just new to this kind of situation I'm not just some bozo running his mouth started as a bus boy and was a waiter and a dishwasher and a prep cook and a fry cook and an assistant manager and a manager and a bartender and I mean I've done it so I'm trying not trying to be an asshole either but you know let's keep moving we're really not messing with these cheese fries right and we're just kind of muddling around on our phones like well shit maybe our burgers will come out and other people's foods are coming out and you know it seems like everything the ball's rolling all of a sudden stuffed jalapenos come out so what he originally ordered but then we were told that they don't have any now they appeared so now we have stuffed jalapeno and 
They didn't look super great, but these things are pretty good. I'm gonna give them credit where credit is due. They had chicken in the middle of them. There was bacon, there was cheese. Like it was a pretty good stuffed jalapeno. So here we are waiting. Mind you, nobody's really come by yet in this whole experience to say, hey man, how is everything? How is the food? You know, let me go check on the on your, your entree. Cause we basically like killed these things together and we ended up eating all those cheese fries because damn dude, like we end up being here over an hour, over an hour. It was about 30 minutes in, our actual waitress came back and was like, hey guys, how is everything? We're like, oh, you know, whatever low maintenance like i said i've been in the restaurant world so i try to be low maintenance you know i don't want to cause you no problems you know you didn't look too busy but maybe you are busy maybe there's something going on in the back i have no idea so i'm just like yeah we're cool time passes by so now we're an hour in we've had no refills we have no entrees i think we're pretty much done with uh our food our lunch break is over, you know, our appetizers, I mean, and our lunch break is over. So Oscar's getting kind of frustrated. I'm getting kind of annoyed with it. I'm like, man, what's going on here? Like other people are eating and we don't have any food. <sighs> Our waitress comes over and says, hey, something happened in the kitchen. They're remaking your food right now. And I was like, well, how long is that gonna take? Because you know, we're already, she was like, you guys got somewhere to be? Mind you, we're wearing scrubs. You know, we're like, yeah, we gotta get back to work. So she was like, oh, it should just take four or five minutes. So boom, she's gone. A few minutes after that, the bartender comes back and she's like, hey, they put your ticket in the window and it fell and nobody noticed. I'm like, well, we've been sitting here for an hour with no food and nobody noticed. Like we were one of the first people in there. All right, cool. Then she leaves and literally like a minute later the lady who dropped off the original slamming of the plates was like really really sorry we're gonna get that out for you no worries and we're like you know would you like it to go and we're like yeah let's get it to go so we you know we can get the hell out of here uh get back to work and i guess eat it while we're moving around at the job she goes this way and the food comes from behind us on regular plates and let me tell you it looked good i wish i would have caught a picture of it while it was on those plates but oscar was like hey you know can we get them to go we about we, we got to get and they're like all right they bring our food to go lady comes over with the receipt mind you we both had the same burger and different appetizers talking to oscar like yours is twelve dollars and then mine is twenty dollars i was like what the hell but okay whatever no problem you know i just want to leave at this point i'd probably pay whatever to get out of there they do this weird handheld thing and you know i always tip but it's like this handheld thing that they do right in front of you where they see that you can leave them a tip or whatever so i mean i still left five bucks uh i didn't see our waitress as much as i thought we should have saw her i really saw the bartender and the cook lady the most so we're like all right boom we we both pay i pay 20 he pays 12 we get up to start going the cook runs out and it's like hey you guys are not supposed to pay for that and we're like oh shit turns out she was the manager so she's back there cooking doing what she needs to do to make sure that the company's still you know moving the, the business is still running and you know like i said everybody else ate we were the only one and she she was like i'm gonna give y'all a refund and she went back and she gave us a refund or whatever and you know it was greatly appreciated because like i said we spent over an hour in this place the jalapenos were good the water sucked we're, 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 i can't really do anything about the water you know the service wasn't that great and you know the cheese fries suck so like, all right cool now we're gonna go back drive you know 15 minutes back to the job and eat these cold burgers while we're moving around and stuff so boom we get a refund and we out of there so we get back to the job and we see the person who recommended the place you know we still love you don't worry but we're like you know hey we've been gone you know an hour and a half and we just now got these here burgers told her about the other stuff you know it sucks it is what it is you know it just was it didn't look like that needed to happen at that time which it never needs to happen but you can kind of understand sometimes when when people are busy or when it's chaotic it just it wasn't moving and bustling hustling like that you know for this to kind of happen so we go downstairs we open them up and the burgers look great like all right man these actually look really good the bun look good you know angus beef never frozen cool fries still look soggy and dark all right whatever we ordered our burgers medium and this is what we got somewhere here probably put both pictures it's basically like they seared the outside of the burger and like the inside still kicking wow like it was bad it was really this is super super red so like we're trying to eat some of it and eventually we just kind of gave up like man this is like not even even cooked at all they didn't even really try and you know you already got an issue with this table which once again we didn't complain we didn't ask to see a manager we didn't tell anybody nothing we just getting up to go but you know that you made a mistake with this table or, or multiple mistakes and then like the burgers like raw as shit it just you know the whole experience was just messed up it was bad i don't know when i first took the bite of the burger i'm like hey this burger's not bad and you kind of look into it and you're like oh shit you know what i mean this is just not good the bread looked good the burger looked good until you took a bite of it and it's just like man what happened and like where, where did you guys go wrong? The the manager told us on the way out, oh, she didn't know it was her first day. It was, she didn't know that she shouldn't have charged us for like this, you know, this, this horrible
horrible experience that we had. She didn't know because you didn't tell her, I guess. I don't know. It's her first day by herself. I heard her tell another customer that they just let her loose, you know, out into the wild with her own customers. But I mean, we like literally saw her like three times in the hour and a half that we were there. She, you know, I don't know her name. I, I don't have the receipt. I was going to keep it and show you guys. It just sucked. It sucked. And I, I liked it. It was a big bar atmosphere. They had sports memorabilia everywhere. They had games. You know, they had a bunch of TVs and a projector. It looked like a pretty chill spot. Kind of kick it in. Everything went wrong. There was like nothing besides the stuffed jalapenos. But not even those because apparently they didn't have them. But then they had them and they brought us the wrong thing. Like if you don't have something, you got to say that you don't have something. You can't just say, hey, I know you wanted the, the cheeseburger. But, you know, we didn't have it. So I brought you a hot dog. That's not how this works. You know, besides the, the aesthetic of the place, like nothing really like there's people there so i mean apparently it's popular that lady you know a lady from work recommended it and she was just you know really upset that it, it didn't go our way but it didn't and it sucked probably never gonna go back um so yeah that's my experience at the rusty beagle that's my story time take what what you will away from it so yeah just imagine that i'm here eating this raw burger in front of you because usually that's what i do right I, I eat the food in front of you and i show you and everything but i didn't have the opportunity because that wasn't the plan and things just started kind of going wrong and i'm just like man there got to be some accountability here you know if you like stories like this go ahead and give me a like and a subscribe tell me what you think tell me your thoughts tell me about a time you had a, a horrible experience and what restaurant it was at and tell me where you're from in the comments i greatly appreciate it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you soon